Hi everybody, I'm Debbie Ahrens. Thank you for joining me today on Your Home. So what we're gonna be doing is we are going to be painting the inside of glass. You can purchase just an inexpensive vase. This was a dollar from the dollar store. And you can paint inside of it and then it becomes a totally different color. So you can customize it to whatever you need. So today I'm going to be painting this little heart on the inside of it. Now, anything that's glass, you can use it. Just make sure that it's cleaned and it's dried. I'm gonna start here with some multi-surface acrylic paint and I'm gonna add it to my cup. This is just a plastic cup. And the reason that I like using the plastic cup is so that I can bend it um, while I'm pouring it in and it can pour straight down without getting all over the sides of the piece of glass. So that's white. Of course, I love pink. So I'm going to add uh, some of this color of pink to it to make my color. Now, if you're into the ombre look, you can just gradually back off. So let's say on your first cup, you would add five drops of this color. On the second drop, you could, I mean, the second cup, you could add three drops of the color. So just cut back and then the color will get lighter and lighter. So from here, as you can see, this is too thick and we're not gonna be able to pour that in. So I am gonna add a little bit of water to this so that we can thin it out just a little bit so that when it gets inside, it will move around easy. So as you can see, this pours in a nice stream. It's not very thick and I think that'll be fine for what we're doing. I have a piece of wax paper down so that I won't have to worry about getting that all over everything. Now, one more thing about this is you don't wanna to put too much paint in. It's better to go back and add more paint because if you have too much, remember it's gonna to have to dry. Uh, these projects do take a little while to dry, so I would say go ahead and do it the week before you need it. Uh, and it will, um, it will take about that long for the whole thing to dry. So once you get it in, you're really just gonna move it around. If you're seeing that you don't have enough, like I am, We'll add a little bit more. So I'm just gonna move it around this. So you can kind of make your design in your piece. If you want it high on the edges, you can do that. So as you can see, all the way around is what you need to concentrate on. So once you finish that, you're just gonna put it off to the side in a, um, a nice, just well ventilated area and let that dry. Once it's finished, you can put a little flower in it if you want, use it as a vase, or just sit it on a table and enjoy what you've made. Thank you all for joining me. I'm Debbie Ahrens. I hope to see you next time so that we can make a house your home.